Welcome everyone to this uh, Lua tutorial. In this tutorial I'll show you how to set up a very simple protocol dissector using Lua to extend your Wireshark and then show how it looks in Wireshark, how to install etc. So let's dive into the... I have the code pulled up in the um, Visual Studio editor, Visual Studio code to be precise. And here you can see I have called my protocol awesome. And so I start with that and first you have to define some boilerplate uh, code. Um, awesome protocol is defined as a proto and this proto has a name of awesome and the description of awesome protocol. So define that and then you have to define some fields. So before I define what the fields are, I'd like to talk about a little bit. The way my protocol is set up, I have a type which is the byte following the ether type. And this byte could be either zero or one. If it's zero, then four bytes following are called B4. And if it's one, then four bytes following are called B2. So that's basically the description here. And you can see data types being defined correctly. These are our boilerplate code. You have to define it correctly. You have to define all these fields so that your protocol is set up correctly. Now with that, we can add all these fields into a superset vector. It doesn't have to be that every packet's dissection looks like this, but this is just a superset. My protocol is built from all these fields and I can put them together in any whichever way I like. So next we look at the uh, function that dissects the protocol. And again, the boilerplate stuff has to be there exactly in buffer p info tree and all that and just copy that just change the name here from awesome protocol to whatever your protocol name is and then this length actually i don't use i could as well comment it it doesn't really matter but look at the next one the p info protocol um, i have to initialize the name of my protocol and then start adding to, to the subtree and the subtree is basically where once your protocol is detected that's where you get a plug and expand your protocol in Wireshark. So this subtree is where I add this um, <coughs> and this is boilerplate stuff again. And all you have to do is initialize it with some of these words like awesome protocol, which you defined up. A buffer is a standard buffer that's going to be passed in. And the name of the data dissection area is awesome protocol data, which you will see shortly. Then next I start adding um, to the subtree, this is my subtree, and to the subtree, I'm going to add first of all the type, which I call X, but you, you can call it whatever. But um, you add this type, and then if this type is zero, then I add B4, which is four bytes, and I show where those four bytes lie. Very important. This is the location or offset, and this is the length. The buffer is in offset length format. <coughs> so and B4 is already predefined what its name tag is, etc., etc. So now I just plug away all those fields and either it's a B4 or a B2 protocol and this defines that. Now finally, where does my dissector get introduced in the Wireshark dissection? This section defines that. So ether table I define as the ether type and in the ether table I have added my protocol dissector. So if it's dead or beef, I'm going to add this awesome protocol. Um, I should probably have called it something else here. Dead beef sounds more like an error, but um, regardless, I guess this shows you how to use this dissector. Now, we've talked about everything. I just want to mention here that you can change these formats. So right now I'm using decimal format for everything, but you can change it to hex. In fact, when I install it, I actually change this to hex. So you will see that in a second. Next, I show you how to install this. I'm inside Linux, uh, but you could be in another operating system. So you have to either follow these instructions or if they don't work, just Google them. Um, but I'll show you my installation here in Linux. I copy this awesome.lua file in tilde, which is my home directory, in dot Wireshark, and that, that's the file. And then I update the init.lua file, which is in dot config Wireshark, and that's where I add this line. To introduce my awesome Lua file, I have to say do file and awesome.lua in this case, whatever your file name happens to be. And once you have done that, we are ready to pull up Wireshark. So let's pull up Wireshark and um, 
let's just pull that into the view here and now let's open up Wireshark and just expand it a little bit to see the whole thing and I have two packets so just look at the first packet and you can clearly see right here that awesome protocol has been dissected and discovered and I have added type to it which was the X that you saw earlier and type is 0 and 0 means it's B4 and B4 is dissected voila so you see that and also I had changed the format to hex so it displays it as hex next you can see that the second packet also the awesome protocol was discovered and type 1 was discovered and then it was dis it, it was displayed in the subtree as B2 so this is our subtree really and we plugged our subtree based on the fact that this type is an unknown here to Wireshark but it plugs our dissector because that's where we attached the dissector the lure dissector um, so hopefully this shows you guys how to do the dissection using the Lua script that we defined here and you can go ahead and add more fields and variations to this and hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, if you have comments please do leave them below in the comment section and if you like the video please hit subscribe so you can get notification on more videos that I make. Thanks a lot for your time and until next time, bye-bye.